Hello, Spring Breakers, to Dragon Ball Z League Playoff Week 2 Tournament of Power. I am your host, Raikage, along with my co host Summer. It's time for some more winners to really separate themselves from the pack. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, we're going. Yes, and he... As you can... oh. Did you want to do no, it? <laughs> and here we are with our, our winners. We have we have a winner's bracket. There's also a loser's bracket. We're going to do a couple matches from our winner's bracket uh, in this first episode. every ep And uh, by the end of the week, we'll also be taking the first steps through the loser's bracket. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and start off with our week one match one. Excuse me, week two. Yes, heal or no heal versus Wonder Wednesday. I, uh, in our aborted attempt, it was a uh, very close and still anyone's game. Uh, King Piccolo is starting things off, uh, running a tech plus one eternal life serious light body trunks AI against Monster Zarbon, running a tech plus two defense minus one eternal life latent energy master throw Piccolo AI. Um, Piccolo going for those indignation stacks uh, to keep boosting his attack. Zarbon going for his for a more initial attack and get his grabs off, which will hurt a lot. True. Uh, in a different timeline, uh, King Piccolo should easily uh, he easily won this match. So we'll see if he repeats that again in this timeline. Yeah. <laughs> well, things are looking. Pretty even so far, and here's gonna be a big grab for 5100. Um, oh, Kyokusen. Easy B2 coming up. Oh, nope. No B2, but good melee came off it. Piccolo getting that first indignation stack in, and uh, good job canceling that grab and going for one of your own. Um, you were saying uh, before, and I think we'll definitely hope to see how it turns out. Uh, Chi Chi could be a factor. If she does 20k plus, it might be a lot harder for uh, Wonder Wednesday here. Yeah, Wonder Wednesday. They they need to shut down Chi Chi to guarantee that victory, in my opinion. Uh, so it won't be easy with uh, in Vegeta and evil king piccolo but they can yeah. do it as they did in it before in the, yeah. in our uh, practice it's, matches it's <laughs> even king piccolo if he keeps getting grabbed like he was doing there yeah he needs the tag out of there so they don't get a massive lead from the jump another kaiakusen oh, oh wow, but that... he misses with the b2 oh, because he because he fell while frozen in place that be too which would have tracked otherwise wow that uh, weird i think that misses Zarbon almost decided the, lead. the match right here it's, between these two it's really even oh uh, yeah that that miss b2 was crucial because he could have finished off Zarbon right there and a tag but on Zarbon the last bar Zangia is in, and Piccolo will want to tag if he's got some thoughts. Um, Zangia is running defense plus two exquisite skill, Dragon Sphere, Master Blast, Serious, Quick Fast Attack on Cell AI. Oh, and, and she takes down Demon King Piccolo, earning her team a nice little one bar lead. But made his excitement. What might Ichi do? And that is an ultimate, and oh. she misses. Oh. He misses, but she punched Zengai out of the Psycho Thread, so that's good. <laughs> uh, Ichi's running Key Plus One, Vita Secret Arts, in Ultra Instinct Omen, Sa Fighting Spirit, Savior, and TNAI. She whiffed the Savior, but she's doing her job, getting getting some max power. Got it. That don't, won't work uh, off twice, once with the max power, and... <laughs> She's working her way toward that 20k. Oh yeah, that long distance B2, you know, really helps out. At, I mean, it can hit from long distance, unlike Max like Jerome, so she misses again. all the time. Third time, and she's done her 20k. Anything else she does here is gonna make life a lot easier for Vegeta. 
Oh yeah, and but her blast locks are at one, so she won't get away with those uh, B ones all the time. So needs to gather that key up. So that means she got a hit her. Uh, she has huge key. Like her charge rate gets absolutely nuts. And she already has two. That means she can do. Uh, I think Maiden's excitement is two two bars. Blast yeah, stocks. Like when she when she gets lower, um, her. Key recharge is just nuts. Alright, she's in max power. Again. Wait, oh, what? Just... Wait, what? It How went through her. Happen? What? Oh. What? <laughs> Weird iframes in the uh, coming out of shoot blaster having to make See, either that or the literal beam starts, like, not in front of her. Oh, could be, but she got another... 5k and she tagged early into N Vegeta. N Vegeta's running Super Plus 1 Ultra Divine Water, launches Sport Indignation, and Gen AI. Um, so, you know, he's he's got some good boosts. That's a fun That's gonna hurt. Alright, yeah, she needs to get out of there now. Kill, but almost. And that might, and that's the end for Zanki. That'll take her out. Uh, Zarbon's coming back in. And, uh, we're about even on health, considering, uh, Vegeta's, uh, not even anymore, but, uh, <laughs> considering Vegeta started off a bar lower because of, uh, the Ultra Fine Water, and that's not gonna help. Oh, yeah, and he's being um, really docile right now. He's not doing much. Yeah, he, he needs to get back into it. He needs, he needs to go ham on Zarbon if he wants his team to win, because... Jiren is no slouch. Yeah, Jiren came out to fight, and for some reason Vegeta's having flashbacks to when Zarbon beat his ass. Like, what, what's going on, Vegeta? Yeah, Jiren, uh, I mean... Zarbon. And, and Vegeta's really kind of squandering the lead that Chi-Chi give, had given him. Alright. He lost about 30... But he finally takes down Zarbon. And we and finally see Jiren. We don't get an, we do not get an ult from Jiren right off, so that's good for Vegeta. Jiren's running key plus one, fighting spirit. That's not gonna work. Wow. Indignation savior, focus on launch support, and TNAI, and he's almost killed Vegeta. Wow. And that's the and end of Vegeta. Vegeta. And that leaves Jiren at full health against Chi Chi. All... To cheat me. <laughs> Who knows? She she can perform. She needs she that knows ultimate. How she's done it. She needs to she needs to hit back to back ults like. Yeah, she needs at least to hit Jiren. At least just just hit Jiren. I'll consider that a win right now. She has five blast dogs. You gotta use them. But right now she's doing nothing. He has not laid a finger on Jiren. There, she got some damage. Yeah, she reflected his own key that blast. That don't work. Yeah. Oh, she's finally punching him. Might be too little too late, though. She kicked him in his shoe. <laughs> she ran in that one. And oh, Jiren's just meleeing her I, down. I feel so. bad for heal or no heal here, because... Vegeta and Chi Chi have just kind of sat here and done nothing at near the end. I mean, it, and that is an explosive finish. That was a good try from Hilo Honohio. <laughs> Unfortunately, Vegeta just came out lackluster. That was their major issue. Chi Chi just, there's no way she could have hanged with Jiren. It, it was just no way. No, oh, but Vegeta just sat there basically and did nothing for a while and then so did Chi Chi. Uh, congratulations to Wonder Wednesday. You're moving on yes, up. Yes, moving moving on up and uh, they will face next week the winner of our next match. Airblades and Bardock versus the Bourgeois Warlords. Let's go and here is a real Saiyan class battle. Uh, Bardock versus King Vegeta. Common man standing up to royalty. This right here is Dusty Rhodes versus Ric Flair, right? 
I am not into wrestling that much. Uh, I know those names, <laughs> but I don't know the scenario or the context. All right. Bardock here is running attack plus two, defense minus one, quick fast attack, indignation, focus on light body, launch support on Goku AI, and King Vegeta is running defense up too late, and MP fighting spear, light body, Dembe's healing, and Yandirobi AI. So. I mean, honestly, Bardock should have. Should have beat his ass like uh, in the show. Took over uh, the planet with Vegeta. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine how much more insufferable Vegeta would have been if he had been like not actually like the the de the son of the deposed king instead of just the son of the king. <laughs> What's funny is and, like uh, he he probably wouldn't have even known that detail, maybe. considering he wouldn't be on the planet. Oh, that. Hits, cancels the ult. Vegeta, King Vegeta was. Oh, that was an ult. ult there. Oh, I didn't realize that and was the ult. It's Blast. Fired that energy wave. Another right ult. He's going for it again. He's gonna do it the same way, and Bardock is just cutting down as a king. Wow. Really showing off his brains here. Maybe he is a legendary really scientist. This <laughs> is. How you employ the immortal science. And, uh. Feed the revolution, Bardock. The warlords, uh. Probably need to tag. This is not. This is not the start the bourgeois warlords want. <laughs> King Vegeta usually does a really good job of opening a hole through sheer tankiness. And. He's been getting stuffed. Uh-oh. He's gonna He's... go big, though, and that might help him. Or it might make him a bigger target. Yeah, there's a good Bardock... chance. Oh, never mind. At has least he got a B2 been... in. Yes. Bardock has been very much interested in firing off his beam more than he has in using any of his, uh, his final Revengers. He's done that once, as opposed to three or four energy waves. But he's a max power, and in comes Pilaf, and Bardock sees easy picking. Wow. That was about a three or four ping right there, right off the bat. Still in max power mode. Through, but if he... Nope. That's all right, though. He'll fire off his energy wave and hit. Combo into uh, B2. Pilaf. Nice. Emperor Pilaf. The Emperor in his machine, he's running super up one, indignation, focus shot, hate the sins, high tension on the free Broly's ring on Chaozu AI. Um, he, he wants the, uh, you know. Okay, I was kinda interested in seeing how Final Revenger would work against the character without a neck. <laughs> well, we there, were there it find is. Out. Oh, he just he goes around the top of it. He just kinda grabs, grabs hold and closer on the top and he has really wrecked Pilaf. Yeah, he's probably done about 60-70k to the uh, the Warlord so far. Yes. Um, we've got... Uh, and he hasn't stopped no and he's on to the next... Please. He has annihilated Pilaf. He has taken a... taking a burning attack from Trunks to put him down. Good job, Bardock. You did good. And in comes... Another trunks. trunks with an old to a Give different 17k. Um, so the the more different trunks that you see, the one with the yellow spikes, uh, that's uh, Super Saiyan Future Trunks, who's running attack up two, defense down one, serious light body, quick fast attack, master sword, then he's healing on Trunks AI, and then Sword Trunks is running super wow. plus one, savior. Serious focus shot, fighting spirit, key control, a free Broly's ring, and TNA. And Sword Trunks um, is shutting the other Trunks now. It's crazy how much he has shut him now. He's barely done 5k to him. This is this is the power of having a sword. Um, <laughs> there's a burning attack to the face. Um, I can honestly say I uh, didn't entirely expect that... Uh, in the in the mirror match here between the trunk scissors that uh this was how it would go down i hadn't considered that as a likelihood and oh boy he's oh, got big muscles and he tags 
uh, into the big mo big ape who uses a super explosive wave and uh, you know clever tag play could needs to be a uh, factor here for uh, the bourgeois warlords because yeah. uh, otherwise they die. Yeah, I mean the the power of family. Falls in the back. The the power of tagging into your family member is great. Yeah. Oh, that's the ultimate. Uh, that's gonna catch him. Whole... Yeah, it does. And Tr Sword Trunks has one bar of his alternate future self to go through, and he also uh, has a full salsa in the back just in case. I think this is a clear win for Airblades and Bardock. I don't see a way back. Yeah, uh, he's probably going to spam his ultimate again. That's his third or fourth time he's yeah. Oh, it misses at yep. all. He missed. But it, Big uh, Trunks is just too slow. Yeah, he is, and it is over. That was a quick and demonstrative victory by Airblades and Bardock. Good oh. job to them. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to Airblades and Bardock. You guys will be moving on to the Warlords. We'll see you yeah. in some other place. All right. And if you like this episode of week two of the playoff matches in the Tower of Power, Tournament of Power, you could join us in our Discord and our links below on our YouTube. Like the video, subscribe to keep up with uh, our videos and such. Become a supporter of your team of choice and be the Howard Power to those fighters. And that was a very obscure wrestling joke. There. <laughs> it's fine. And I've been your host, Raikage, and this is Din I co host. Co host Summer. And we'll see you in the next episode of the TOP. Bye bye.